I'm joined by Charlene Habermeyer, who will be teaching at BYU Education Week starting August 19th. Now, she is an expert on the many benefits music has on the brain. You've researched, Charlene, this for about 25 years, and you've put together good music, brighter children. And I have to start off. Thank you for being here, by the way, Charlene. Thank you. We've always heard for so long, we've done numerous stories on how music, starting in utero, classical music, can help develop a child's brain. What have you found in that research? Okay, there's a ton of research. The research has been done since the 1800s, and what they found is that if you listen to classical music or if you play a, an instrument, um, that it builds a bigger, better brain, particularly the three areas of the brain, the auditory, the visual, and the motor cortices of the brain, and those relate to, like, um, language arts, uh, reading, reading comprehension, math, speech and language, memorization skills, and the um, refinement and organization of the entire brain. And it's what pretty a, big. What an easy thing to do, just play music for your children, right? <laughs> well, have it going. Exactly, and it's only about 20 minutes a day, half an hour a day. Mm -hmm. Particularly if you're starting in utero, you can put the, um, they say to put the headphones on the stomach. Um, mm -hmm. I don't think that's necessary. I just played music for my kids, um, you know, driving in the car, in the house. Yeah. Never did the um, in utero. Yeah, exactly. What made you want to research this, Charlene, and, and write the book? Was it something in particular? Yes, my um, we had five boys, and my third son had a very, very traumatic birth, which left him severely learning disabled. We were told um, by numerous psychi psychiatrists and psychologists that he would uh, never graduate from high school. So I knew that music had a huge impact on mm -hmm. the brain, particularly in all learning disabilities, start with auditory processing. So you have to do those things that really build up the auditory or cortex of the brain, which music does. So I put everything to music, um, just all of his homework. We made up little jingles. We did everything with music. We did do outside programs as well. Okay. But he did graduate from high school, and he did graduate from a four-year university with straight A's in film and philosophy. So Congratulations. He's a walking success story. And you're putting that success and what you found and what you've done into the book. Exactly. Exactly. Now, when you say the music, the classical music, having it playing around your children in the car, in the background, what about actually getting your children involved in playing an instrument? Okay, it's, that's the most important thing. You want to get them involved in playing an instrument. And so the book goes into how you can choose an instrument. You certainly want to make your child a part of that uh, decision, how to choose a teacher, how to get them to practice. And the one thing is, is we had three non-negotiable rules in our house, and one of them was once you chose an instrument, I mean, you could choose other instruments to play, but you played until you went away to college. You stick with that. Exactly. And, you know, Definitely, children will get to the point where they'll want to quit or they'll whine about it. You don't let them quit. Right. You've got to stand firm, Mom and Dad. That's they'll thank right. you for it one day. Is there a magic age number to start your child in an instrument? You know, in terms of an instrument, between the ages of 7 and 11, they say they're, uh, that's good, but to introduce them to music, like little music okay. schools, you should start. You can start as young as 18 months wow. because you want the developing cortex to really um, have the opportunity to hear them you know, and be involved with those instruments. Wow. Well, this book is certainly a wealth of knowledge, as you are. Uh, when will you be teaching again at BYU Education Week? Uh, Tuesday through Friday, 8.30 in the morning, uh, Harris Fine Arts Center, Madison Auditorium. Okay. That's this upcoming week. So. There's all the information. You could find it as well on our website, fox13now.com. Charlene Habermeyer, again, good music. Brighter Children is the book. I'm excited to start reading this one with my th three little ones. Oh, good. You know, and I'm going to be firm on that piano practice time. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. When they're teenagers, they will thank you. Yeah. Adults, too. I appreciate it. Thanks, Charlene. Thank you. All right.